is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen it is finally time for our sdcc 2021 wwe action figure reveals guys they finally went up they posted the live stream all of the figures have been revealed to us here and i am super excited to go through it with you now i don't know if we're getting more reveals tomorrow or what the exact plan is for the rest of the weekend. But we do have a lot of stuff to cover here today. So I don't know what holds for tomorrow. There may be more later on today. I may have to make a separate video. Maybe they'll be added at the end of the video. Or maybe we'll just have to wait completely until tomorrow for new reveals, guys. But today we have a ton of stuff to get through. A lot of exciting stuff, man. Let's go ahead and dive straight into it. So the hype for this SDCC was super real, man. I was super excited for it. And I don't think they disappointed. So let's go ahead and dive in, man. Let's start off with this figure right here, man. The Elite 9. Rob Van Dam, man. They actually gave it to us. They actually gave us the Tiger Stripes one-of-a-kind RVD Elite action figure, man. This is absolutely beautiful. Like, if this was the only figure they showed off, I think I would be completely happy, man. This is just beautiful. I love this. I think it looks fantastic. The gear looks great. It does look like it's a repeat of that smiling head sculpt that I fixed up my RVD with, but it will be true effects. We do have the interchangeable thumbs-up hands or RVD signature hands. You get a steel chair as well, and this is just wonderful, man. I cannot wait to get this in hand, but I had to start off with this figure. Also, I think every single figure they showed today is going to have double-jointed arms unless the figure's already been made. So if it's going to be a figure that already has a prototype out or like an image of it already in figure form, those aren't going to have double-jointed arms, but any other figure that's like renderized like this will be double-jointed arms. Now, I had to start off with RVD, right? I had to get the RVD figure out of the way because I knew you guys would be super excited to see it and just see what I thought about the figure. It's beautiful. It's freaking amazing. I'm going to do a top 10 like favorite figures from the reveals when, you know, everything's shown off. Again, we may get more stuff tomorrow, but let's dive into more f figures, man. The next figure I want to cover, guys, this is going to be a Target exclusive Ultimate Edition Legends figure, and it's going to be Batista, man. Look at how how sick this figure is, man. This is absolutely beautiful. This Batista is perfect, man. Ruthless Aggression era Batista in the white and red gear. He's got the beautiful boots on there. Head sculpts look fantastic. The hair sculpts. You get the pissed off slash determined head sculpt. You get the smirking head sculpt. And then you get the entrance yelling head sculpt. Bro, like I have to get as many of these as possible. You got the butterfly joints. Oh, dude, this is just so sick. Interchangeable hands. You get the thumbs up, thumbs down. You get both the Raw and Smack down contracts after he won the Royal Rumble. You know, he had to make the decision. You get the World Heavyweight Championship, and you get his signature Animal T-shirt, man. If this is the Animal T-shirt, and it has front and back, and it's not Velcroed like we've seen with other figures, that would be insane. I don't know if it's going to be Velcroed or not. It probably will be Velcroed. Not a huge deal, but just something to mention. But this Batista figure, man, this gives me all the feels. You get both WrestleMania 21 contracts. Oh, God in heaven. So I guess the rumors of an Ultimate Edition Batista were true, and this is just, oh, God. This is one of my favorite figures they showed off, man. This is absolutely sick. So we're starting out hot, man. We had the RVD figure. We had the Batista Ultimate Edition Legends figure, but we got plenty more. Let's keep it moving, guys. Let's get into some other Ultimate Edition figures, man. Starting off with Kane here. This Kane figure is really sick. This is the new Ultimate Edition Kane. He is going to come with the WWF Championship. He's going to come with the cape as well, and Bill mentioned, actually, that he wanted to include the cape because there's that one image of him with the cape that everybody references to, and he wanted to put it on the Ultimate Edition Kane, and I don't have a problem with it. I think it's sick. Whether you put it on the guy or not, it's a really good piece to have. It looks really great. I like the way this figure looks, man. You'll notice that they did give him a new mask sculpt. They also gave him butterfly joints. He's got the double jointed arms. His uh, boots are actually sculpted accurately. They're not the regular, you know, lace-up boots. They're the laceless clean, you know, bright and shiny style, so they're very accurate. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that. Belt is sculpted on, not just painted on, so this is a really nice cane figure, man. This is sick. I really like this. You get two different head sculpts. The hair's in front there, and then the hair's kind of like pushed back there. So you get two different options there with your cane figure, but I am really excited for the cane. I think this cane, it, it looks great. I know that it was rumored for a long time to be getting a cane, but now that we see it, I think it looks great. Let me know what you guys think of it down below. Not only do we have cane, though, guys, we also have the Undertaker. Now, a lot of people were upset about this figure. I'm kind of mixed, you know, I got a mixed feeling of, of bags right here. This Undertaker figure, I think the only thing that I'm having a problem with is maybe like the upper torso compared to the lower torso. It just looks a little bit odd. And the head sculpts are a little bit odd as well. But, um... I don't know. I don't think it's fair to really judge it till we get it in hand. I will say that one angle does make it look like his upper torso is jacked compared to his smaller torso, but we'll just have to see about that. I do want to wait till we get it in hand. You get the mic holding hands. You get the fists. 
You get the, is that a, it's like a wide open hand. That's kind of odd. You get the choke slam hands as well. You get the tongue out head sculpt with the eyes rolled back. You get like a blank expression sort of head sculpt. Kind of favors my, Michael Jackson a little bit. And then you get like the 30 years taker, I think, head sculpt with like different hair, which is very interesting. And then you have his overthrow coat, which is not in cloth. It's actually, you know, in the rubber there, but it's hard to get all those buckles and stuff sculpted. So I understand it. I will say, I think the Kane figure won the Ultimate Edition battle between these two. However, you know, the Undertaker is not completely wasteful there. I am excited to see what it looks like when we finally get it in hand, but that is the next Ultimate Edition set. Now, again, the, the Batista is a Target exclusive, and it's a Legends Ultimate Edition. These two are regular Ultimate Editions. And then the third Ultimate Edition, or the fourth, if you will, counting Batista, is going to be the Ultimate Warrior. This is the one that's going to be Amazon exclusive, I do believe. It won the fan vote, and this looks pretty good as well. You get the orange gear. I want to say we've had this in Elite form before, if I'm not mistaken, but you get both championships, Screaming Head Sculpt. I'm sure it'll come with either even more than this. I doubt this is all we get. We may even, I'm sure we'll probably get the entrance coat as well. So that'll be another thing that you can add with this Ultimate Warrior. And then we actually had a Women's Ultimate Edition, ladies and gentlemen. They showed us a render of the upcoming Ultimate Edition Alexa Bliss. And you guys can see by the interchangeable head sculpts that we're going to be getting that Fiend or, you know, Bray Wyatt style, Dark Demon style Alexa Bliss figure in an Ultimate Edition. So it looks like the rumor mill was true. And if that is the case, man, these are going to be great Ultimate Editions. This this, with, you know, the cloth accessories over the top, man, this Alexa Bliss is going to be a fantastic Ultimate Edition. Cannot wait to see more details on this one. Now, going back to Elite Series 91, man, to go along with our RVD figure, they also showed off Hulk Hogan. This Hulk Hogan figure, you know, it was rumored, just like RVD, the Elite 91 set that was going to, I think it's supposed to feature KO and Austin Theory and stuff like that. They also showed off this Hulk Hogan. I know a lot of people have been waiting on this version of Hulk Hogan here, and he comes with a lot of accessories. This figure looks great. They did use the Hulk of Fame torso, which is pretty interesting how they flip back and forth there, but it still looks good. Like, I, I still like it. I like all the accessories we're getting here. Head sculpt looks good and everything. I know a ton of people are going to be super excited for it. I hope that it's on ball joints just like his Ultimate Edition. I'm loving it, man. This this looks great to me. I don't have any issues with it. Again, I believe it's going to have double jointed arms. The RVD will have double jointed arms. I mean, that's about all you can say. Next up in Elite Series 91, man, we also have Bianca Belair. Now, this is a really nice figure. This is an attire that I really wanted. I think she won the Royal Rumble in this gear, and she's going to come with the SmackDown Women's Championship. This is a really nice Bianca figure. I think she's going to actually have removable earrings, they said, so that's a very new tooling that we got going on. Her figure should have double jointed arms as well. She's got the interchangeable hands. She's got the glasses. Doubtful that she'll get a jacket like she did in her first figure. However, this is a really sick Bianca figure, and I'm looking forward to it. Now, moving right along, guys, we also have our next ringside exclusive. Now, this one's going to be a bit controversial, I feel. The ringside exclusive Tommaso Ciampa. I already know what you guys are already thinking. I'm way ahead of you. They changed the torso from the jacked Finn Balor torso, Johnny Gar Gargano torso, to the Daniel Bryan torso. I do not know why they did that. I, I have no idea why they did that. He is going to come with his mask and his hood, and he's also going to come with a cloth jacket, they said, like a really nice cloth jacket, so that is going to be where, like, the, the ringside exclusive portion comes in. You know, they try to give us something, like, very unique for the accessory and stuff. They are going to include that with this Tommaso Ciampa. However, I just don't like this torso choice, but uh, you can see the figure. It has double jointed arms and and it has the Daniel Bryan torso, so I know a lot of people are going to be upset about that. I don't know why they did that, but Tommaso Ciampa is our next ringside exclusive, and it's kind of just a weird ringside exclusive. I don't know. Just a very odd choice, I guess. Let me know what you guys think of the Ciampa down below, and what you're, you know, what you think about that as a ringside exclusive. I don't know. Very odd choice for me, and I think changing the torso is what makes it super odd as well, but anyways, let's move right along. We also had a look at some Elite 88 figures, man. So Elite 88, that is the next set that we're going to be taking a look at, man. Starting out first, we do have Ray Mysterio. This looks really good, man. I really like this colorful gear. It looks really sick with the, you know, the blue, the yellows, and the reds. Giving me, like, Superman vibes or something like that. Really bright and shiny. Rey Mysterio figures are undefeated, man. They're undefeated. You can't, like, they're just some of the best figures ever. This one's gonna have double jointed arms as well, so... Rey Mysterio is just living the life as an action figure, in action figure form. His, his figures are just undefeated, so this one's going to be just the same. We also have Matt Riddle in Elite Series 88, and he's going to come with a hat and a cloth t-shirt, and it is in, like, his orange and blue gear. Also, some slides included. He gets a new head sculpt and everything like that. I know the formula is trash, but at this point, man, I doubt they're going to change it. It's going to be like AJ Styles. I don't, I, I'm sure they'll probably change his arms, though, because since he'll have double-jointed arms, I doubt they gave him the Kalisto arms again. I'm 
I'm sure he'll have standard arms, which should add to the figure, make it look a lot better. But I like the Matt Riddle. I like the white gear better, but maybe we could do some surgery and get him some double jointed arms and stuff. But I do like the accessories that we're getting with this Matt Riddle figure. We also have an exclusive Elite 88 Zodiac. So I think he is going to be the uh, collector's edition in this very unique figure, man. I love the uh, first time in the lines that we're getting today. You guys are going to see a bunch of those. Very unique gear. He also is going to come with his arm gauntlets on there that Bill talked about. Interchangeable head sculpts. Really sick, man. Really great stuff going on right here. I love when they get outside the box with it and give us some, you know, some other things outside of the norm. But I will say, I know it gets old for first time in the lines being the collector's edition. I know that gets on a lot of people's nerves, but... Continuing on Elite 88, man, we also have the Chase variant in the set, which is going to be Trish Stratus, that she is going to have a new head sculpt, so she gets two new Elites right here, that will give her, her figures are kind of tallying up nowadays, but she gets the black and pink gear, and then we get her WrestleMania basic attire with the red and white, she comes with the hat as well on both of these, new entrance hands, mic holding hands, double jointed knees and arms should make this figure really nice, she may even be in a spot where she could be added to a pick fed or something like that, man, you never know with Trish Stratus right there, so she is the Chase variant in the set, now continuing on, on with Elite Series 88, guys, we also have a look at Kushida. Now, we've seen this render before. You guys remember, like, a long time ago. I want to say, like, like, a very long time ago, because I remember talking about him being in Elite 84, and I remember, like, seeing the render image, and now we're seeing it again. So, hopefully, we'll get this figure released. He's got a lot of great part choices going on right here, and hopefully, you know, when it finally releases, it'll be worth the wait, and the figure will be really, really sick. So, not only do we have Elite 88 Kushida, but we also have another look at the render of Elite 88 MVP, and finally, we have a final render of Elite 88 Roman Reigns, and I think this is going to be a beautiful figure, man. The head sculpt and the back tat and the Universal Championship gold gauntlet. This is the ultimate Roman Reigns, and I cannot wait for it, man. This is going to be absolutely perfect, and I cannot wait. Moving on to Elite Series 89, we also got ourselves some Elite 89 figures, man. Starting out first, we do have Sergeant Slaughter, who was the SDCC exclusive. This will go along with our Colonel Mustafa. You're going to get the hat. You're going to get the glasses. It seems that they are reusing the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive head sculpt. He is going to have double jointed arms, red elbow pads really like the pants mold that we got going on with this guy like that could add for some really cool custom you know customization and stuff like that he's not the collector's edition so that's also very nice even though colonel mustafa is the collector's edition which is very weird but I like the way this Sergeant Slaughter figure looks. We also have Nia Jax, who is the Chase variant in the set. So you're going to get a purple version, and you're also going to get a red version. She will come with the Women's Tag Team Championship, which uh, I think that is the second time we're getting that. The first time was the Elite 82 Alexa Bliss, so it took seven series before we got the other half of that Women's Tag Team Championship. But here it is, Brad, and a lot of people liked her, her first few figures. Like, her basics were good. Her Elite 65 figure was good, and this one should be even better because of the double-jointed stuff. So hopefully this figure will feel good in the hand, and Nia Jack's head sculpts are really good most of the time. So I know that I think this figure will be well-received. Moving on forward, guys, we have Dominic Mysterio in this set. Elite 89, first time in the line, Dominic Mysterio to match his father's gear with the red, yellow, and blue kendo stick in hand. Really nice head sculpt on this guy. Got his tattoos on there. Really sick figure, man. Really sick figure. I'm excited for him. I know that that is so cool to see, you know, just a, a figure of yourself created, especially fully created by Mattel, man. That is absolutely insane. So Dominic's figure actually looks really good. I'm excited to see what parts we get and how it looks and, and the molds they use and everything like that. But not only are we getting a Dominic adult version, guys, they are actually doing a Dominic kid figure and he is going to be the SummerSlam Elite Set Build-A-Figure. Now, I don't think we know what the SummerSlam Elites are just yet, but Dominic is going to be the Build-A-Figure as a kid from 2005 at SummerSlam from the ladder match for the custody battle between Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. That is absolutely nutty, man. Like, what in the hell is going on? Isn't that insane? That is insane. That is just crazy. He is also going to come with a cloth. Uh, I think he wore like an open button down short sleeve. So they said that, that it's going to come with a cloth shirt like that. Kind of like Bray Wyatt's Hawaiian shirts. That is what that's going to come with. So that's ridiculous, man. That is absolutely ridiculous that they're even able to do that. That's so wild to me. And I think it's awesome. And I love that they're doing this wacky out of the box stuff, which is why we need AEW and Jazzwares to be, you know, kicking out their stuff because it adds to, you know, it adds to it. It makes everything fun and it makes it pushes other companies to do fun things as well. But not only that, guys, we also have the exclusive of the collector's edition from Elite 89, and it's going to be the goon 
which is absolutely insane again, man. Like, what? Like, it's it's crazy that we're getting these figures that we never thought we'd see. I really love the formula. He's going to come with the hockey stick. He's got the removable hockey gloves, man, so he can throw the gloves off and beat the hell out of people. That is just awesome, man. What a cool day of reveals. Like, just stuff that you didn't even think you would possibly see, man. We saw him today. Like, it was just a crazy day. I would say this is the craziest day of reveals I think I've ever seen. But if we get outside the goon, man, moving on to some other elites. Now, continuing on with Elite Series 89, guys, we also have a look at Bobby Lashley. So our updated current WWE champion with the pissed off head sculpt. New head sculpt for Bobby Lashley. Formula looks really good. The boots look really sick. Hurt business gear with the WWE Championship. This is sick AF. Really like the Bobby Lashley figure. Very excited to get an updated one. He's not smiling or anything. So WWE Championship on the current champion, Bobby Lashley, Elite 89. Pissed off, Bobby. I mean, what do you want? That's, that's exactly what you want for Elite 89. But also in Elite 89, guys, we have Damian Priest. And this figure looks insane, man. The head sculpt, the tattoos, the formula, the purple gear. This Damian Priest figure blows his basic out of the John Brown water, man. This Elite looks fantastic, man. The purple and silver and the black details and the formula overall. This is one of those figures to get you excited for it. And I'm not a big Damian Priest guy. However, the figure looks great, and that's always something that I can appreciate. And also in Elite Series 89, guys, we also have Drew McIntyre. So an updated Drew McIntyre in his, like, you know, kilt-style gear with the logos and the sword and the, the kilt and the blue and the plaid going on. Really nice Drew McIntyre right here. The head sculpt looks great. He's got, like, a little bit of the shortened hair there. This is a really nice Drew McIntyre. Like, it's so cool to see, you know, he's a really plain-looking like character as far as a figure goes like he doesn't change his gear very much but this one they did so much to it that it it calls for a brand new figure so i think they did a really great job modernizing that drew mcintyre and bringing that to life so i like everything that this has going on for it the sword looks great head sculpt all that different stuff i like this drew mcintyre a lot continuing on man we have elite series 90 and elite series 90 is going to feature big boss man kind of a re-release it's got kind of a new head sculpt going on he's got handcuffs the night stick and he has a hat so the big boss man looks looks nice. It looks like they updated this figure a little bit compared to the Network Spotlight and the Elite 14 that we got way back in the day. So maybe this big boss man will be a little bit improved and also he's going to have double jointed arms. Also in Elite 90 guys we have Bronson Reed with like his Bam Bam Bigelow inspired gear and this figure looks great. Hopefully it's very poseable. I like the sleeve. The gear looks great. Head sculpt looks good as well. He's got like the grabbing hands as well. This figure should be really fun to pose around. I guarantee he'll be on ball joints so Bronson Reed's new figure his Elite looks really nice. We also have a look at the new Mustafa Ali from Elite 90, bro. This one looks so daggum good, man. This one crushes his other figure. Now, I know it's not yellow or red gear, but this heel Mustafa Ali gear with the face mask and the shirt and the black gear, the head sculpt on this looks fantastic. And also, he's going to have double jointed arms. So, this Mustafa Ali, I think, kicks the hell out of his first one, and it doesn't look like he's going to have an oversized head, so hopefully that will help it. But this Mustafa Ali is super nice, man. Wow. Just such a great day, man. Killing it with these reveals, man. Mattel is dominating right now. And speaking of which, bro, I gotta get into it. Elite 90 Randy Orton in the WrestleMania white gear. I can just retire now, Brad. I can just retire. Look at how beautiful this is. The head sculpt, the hands. He comes with Mike holding hands and his signature hands, not this. So that's a huge upgrade as well. So he's got the white gear. He's got, uh, it, I don't remember these glasses. Is that supposed to be glass? Like, I, why do I not remember these glasses? Am I tripping? I don't know. For some reason, I don't remember that, but he comes with a black steel chair as well. But the Randy Orton's beautiful, man. Just bask in its glory, man. Bask in the glory of the Elite 90 Randy Orton with the white gear, man. Just, God, that's just gorgeous. Continuing in Elite 90, man, we have Reckoning as well. Now, we talked about these a little bit. I'm just glad that we're getting some of the gears that we wanted to see, man. I feel like I've been sitting here forever, but Jesus, dude, the reveals today were outstanding. You got Reckoning here, Elite Reckoning, Elite 90. Really like the formula you got going on there. You got the double-jointed knees in there, unique sculpts and stuff like that. Mia Yim finally getting her Elite. I know Retribution kind of fell apart there, but the Reckoning figure does look good. We also have our Elite 90 Collector's Edition, which is going to be Chief J Strongbow, man. What, are, like, I know that people are going to be going crazy for these, man. I, I've had to keep this one and the goon a secret because I knew a little bit about 
about that exclusive. But that's just crazy, man. Every time I see Chief J Strongbow, all I think about is Big Daddy and Adam Sandler putting the delivery man in the sleeper hold and just laying him out on the ground. That's that's what this figure reminds me of. So I gotta grab one. Not only that, guys, but we also have a look at Elite 90 J Uso in the white gear with the white sleeve. Now I will say. It sucks that it's a repeat of the white gear, but you know I love white gear. So I like the white sleeve, but I really would have liked to seen Black Gear Elites. We need Black Gear Uso Elites, man. We need Black Gear Uso Elites. I can't believe we still don't have them. I mean, there's a way to make them. I just really want them officially from Mattel in this leg mold. That's really what I'm wanting. But he comes with the lay and everything and the white sleeve. And the J Uso does look pissed off right there. I wonder if we'll get a Jimmy in matching gear. I don't think there's anything in the rumor mill, but there is the J Uso. Man, we finally got our Adam Cole in War Games gear, man. He's going to be the chase. They didn't say what series this is going to be. I don't know what series this is going to be just yet, but we have Adam Cole in the one singles gear, and then we have the War Games Adam Cole that we've been waiting on forever. We finally got him. He is the chase variant. Again, I don't know what set this is. They didn't specify, I don't think, but it would probably be Elite 90, 91, 92, something like that. And that's a long ways away, honestly, so it'll be a minute, but the Adam Cole, we finally got the War Games gear. Uh, just so cool, man. Finally getting the Adam Cole. We can say thank you. We finally got the War Games Cole, and that is a great day. Outside of that, man, we have some other renders of some elites here. We have Karrion Cross in, like, his Spartan-style gear. We have the Fiend Bray Wyatt burnt version. We have Chainsaw Charlie, and all three of these are just, it's just crazy, man. Like, some of these figures, like, you don't even, Chainsaw Charlie, did you think you'd wake up and say, oh, yeah, we're getting a Chainsaw Charlie elite? figure i don't think so a burnt fiend elite a whole elite figure dedicated to the burnt fiend craziness and then carrying cross i'm not the biggest cross guy but the figure looks okay burnt fiend got all kinds of sculpts going on hopefully he's not like dumpy and frumpy like the ultimate edition but chainsaw charlie lots of unique stuff going on with this and then the last little render figure that we have guys is going to be raquel gonzalez current women's nxt champion yeah man what do you guys think of these different renders here raquel gonzalez very unique character there I like the body molds, the head sculpts look good and things like that, so that will be unique. She'll probably come with the Women's NXT Championship if I had to, you know, if I had to, if I had to guess, that is what I would say. And then if we're moving on, guys, we have a bunch of Elite sets that are specific here. So, we got some pay-per-view Elite sets, and then we have a very unique Elite set, and then we have some Legends figures. So, I guess we could dive into the Legends real quick, guys. We have Legends Series 13, taking a look at the total wave here. The first figure we have is Hurricane, really nice Hurricane. It kind of reminds me of that custom I used on Vindication forever ago for hurricane really unique figure i like the hurricane figure i don't know if he's the chase very no he's not the chase i'm sorry there's another figure in this set that's the chase but i really like this hurricane figure adds to the hurricane collection maybe we can mix and match our elite 75 hurricanes we also have triple h in the set you guys know that he's going to have the dx army gear with the pants and the dx t-shirt we get a new head sculpt here and he is in the gear that i wanted him to be in the neon green and black triple h long tights been waiting on that figure forever we've had it in basic form we finally have it in elite form it's going to look great. I know it because this formula always looks really good. DX Triple H looks good with the speaking head sculpt to go into the microphone. We also have Bob Orton. Kind of a boring figure, but I know a lot of people have missed out on his other figures. And this one's going to have double jointed arms and stuff, so maybe that will add to it. So you do get Cowboy Bob Orton. And then we get Jake the Snake Roberts. So we do know that we just got Jake the Snake Roberts in the Legends line. This one goes back to the older head sculpt, but with true effects. He is going to come with his snake. We have one gear from WCW, which is going to be his Chase variant version in the gray. And then we have his Flames gear which, again, dude, Jake the Snake is one of those guys that you don't think has a ton of figures, but he actually does. He's been the Chase variant in the Legends line twice now, and they always plug him in these Legends lines and these flashback lines, man. Jake the Snake be adding it up, but... I like the way both of these look. So that was Legend Series 13. And then we have the Royal Rumble Elite Build-A-Figure set, which is going to include Earthquake... A lot of people have been wanting this Earthquake figure, so I know a lot of people are going to be excited about that. You get the light blue, you get the Canadian flag. Really good head sculpt on that guy. The true effects should look outstanding, and Earthquake's figures are pretty underrated, so that should be a really good one. We also have Yokozuna. We haven't had a Yokozuna in a while. Going to be very interesting to see how he poses around with new articulation and things like that, but he gets interchangeable hands. I really like, like this pissed-off sort of head sculpt that we got going for him. That will be our third Yokozuna Elite, if I'm not mistaken. You got his Hall of Fame figure. You had the Elite 14, I think. And then you have this one. We have Big E in the set. Mr. Money in the Bank himself in his Get Well Soon Xavier Woods gear to match our Kofi Kingston that we got in the one wave. So now we have a tag team to match Big E and Kofi Kingston there. He's got his interchangeable hands there. And the head sculpt looks to be a repeat of his last head sculpt, if I'm not mistaken. 
And then we get an Elite Dakota Kai in this way. Very unique head sculpt. It looks just like her. Very excited to see what the final image looks like or what it looks like when it finally comes out. I will say the articulation on this figure should be great again with the double jointedness and everything like that. Women's figures have improved so much so the Dakota Kai should be outstanding. And the build-up figure for this set is going to be Jimmy Hart with the mouth wide open with the pink blazer. You guys know I gotta get my hands on that pink blazer. Gotta put that on my MDT figure, man. That is a sick AF coat. Definitely gonna be after, you know, trying to track this down as many as possible or at least get another. Whoever comes with the coat to the Jimmy Hart going to have to pick up a couple of those because I got to have that jacket. But that Jimmy Hart figure looks really good. Haven't seen him in a minute since the Hall of Fame Elite, I do believe. And that's not the... Uh, we've literally got three different Build-A-Figures revealed to us, man. So they're bringing back the Build-A-Figures in full ways. You had the Dominic, you had the Jimmy Hart, and then you have the Vince McMahon to go in the WrestleMania Elite Wave. So you have the Royal Rumble Elite Wave, the SummerSlam Build-A-Figure Dom Wave, and now we have the WrestleMania Elite Build-A-Figure Wave featuring the WrestleMania 36 Boneyard match. I think it was WrestleMania 36, right? AJ Styles and The Undertaker... From the Boneyard match, you got AJ Styles with the shirtless. So I'm sure he'll come with a cloth OC t-shirt or whatever shirt he wore there. We already got the Undertaker from that match, and it is going to, you know, the rest of the figures in this wave is going to build a figure Vince McMahon. And the build a figure Vince McMahon actually is in suit. He's got the nice, you know, tie going on. It's a throwback flashback Vince McMahon. So that adds to our Vince McMahon collection in suit. So I, I'm always up for the Vince McMahon figures, man. They do really well. Everybody wants Vince McMahon. So there is Vince McMahon as the builder figure. I think the rest of the figures in this set, I think it's supposed to be a Ruthless Aggression Shawn Michaels. I want to say it's WrestleMania. I think they're re-releasing the WrestleMania 25 Shawn Michaels defining moments in this wave, which would have been the technicality that I was referring to in yesterday's video about Ruthless Aggression HBKs and how we may be getting one. We're also getting a WrestleMania 19 Stone Cold, and I think we're getting... I can't remember the last figure in the set. It's kind of dropping out of my brain right now, but I know Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold, I think, are supposed to be a part of this WrestleMania Elite wave. And this was a really sick uh, Elite line right here, man. This is going to be Walmart exclusive Hollywood Elites, dude. This is absolutely crazy, and we already kind of knew about it, but just seeing it in the flesh is outstanding, man. We have the Hollywood Elite line Walmart exclusives. I think they go up for pre-order tomorrow, so if you're watching this on the 24th, man, you may want to go pre-order them, but in this set, man, there's two different sets. Wave 1 is going to be Hobbs and Shaw the Rock, They Live, Hot Rod, Roddy Piper, and Fast and Furious 9, John Cena. And all of these look crazy, man. Like, how insane is it? That plaid button-down flannel shirt for the Roddy Piper is going to be used so much. You have the, like, acid-washed light jean color that you get with that figure. The, the figure's mock look great as well, man. And underneath the plaid shirt, you also get, you know, the, the like, the Dean Ambrose mold for the, you know, the Roddy Piper. What a cool wave, man. Just so cool. Again, they do have single-jointed arms because they've already been made. But the Rock figure, I will say the Hobbs and Shaw Rock figure, I love the upper part because you get the, you know, you get the jack torso for the Rock. You get the updated tattoo. You get all those things. But the pants, I literally watched this movie the other day, and the pants just don't seem accurate. I don't think he had, like, the jogger-looking sweatpants on, man. He also has that cloth wrap which is cool but I literally watched this movie the other day and I don't think that's the way his bottoms looked I would I think the Bray Wyatt pants mold from the Elite 85 figure would have looked a lot better but I still like the figure a lot I'm sick of that head sculpt though Jesus but then we also have John Cena from Fast 9 haven't seen hadn't had a chance to see Fast 9 just yet even though I'm a big Fast and the Furious fan but the figure looks cool in the black pants kind of plain Jane but you do get like that weird old Cena haircut and the head sculpt looks a bit weird with the eyes but you do get the blue shirt black pants look cool he does have the jack torso on the pants mold so that's very unique as well but not only that guys but we also have wave two of this and wave two of this is going to include scorpion king rock scorpion king rock yes scorpion king rock this is probably the figure that i'm most excited about no not really but it is very sick such a unique figure man like, the head sculpt looks outstanding. I love the attire and stuff like that. This figure rules, man. This gives me such nostalgia. I believe that came out in 01, which is one of my favorite times of wrestling and everything. So, Scorpion King Rock gets an A-plus in my book. We also have Hobbs and Shaw Roman Reigns, which is very unique. You get the necklace on there. It does reuse the, you know, the, the smiling head sculpt, but I don't have a problem with it. He looked good in that film, so that looks really sick as well. The cloth wrap going around. And then we also have a Bigfoot Andre the Giant, which is just crazy, man. Like I told you, the reveals were insane. The reveals were insane today. They didn't, like, what is going on? A Bigfoot in this first suit, Andre the Giant Elite. 
a Dom kid version figure. What is happening? What what is going on? But regardless, so sick, man. Just so freaking cool. Just outstanding cool. So that is your two different waves of the Hollywood Elite sets. So going back to our event exclusives, guys, or their, uh, you know, the, whatever, whatever, the, the pay-per-view exclusive Elites that we were talking about, man. We also have some more revealed to us. And this is a great set. We already kind of knew about this set, but diving into it, man, we have Bret Hart, Bailey, Hulk Hogan, and Keith Lee. What an excellent set, man. Starting out first with Bailey in the SmackDown gear. Now, again, she doesn't have double-jointed arms, but her double-jointed knees are back. She comes with her headgear, White jacket with the interchangeable hands. SmackDown Women's Championship. Really strong Bailey figure. Uh, I actually think I like this figure better than her AEW gear in the gold. I really like this Bailey in the blue and black and white. Very, very clean. Very nice. I like the head sculpt. It's not too crazy. Um, I don't know if the lightness is as good as that one, but it's still, I like the facial expression on this Bailey, and they did a great job on it. Diving into the next one, guys, is going to be Bret Hart in the black, pink, and orange gear. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this figure. I don't know if they're going to like the head sculpt, you know. I don't, I don't know. There's some people that are really particular about their Bret Hart head sculpts, so we're going to have to see what people think of it overall. I'm not the biggest fan of it. He kind of looks a little bit old there. However, the Bret Hart is looking good. Like, from the neck down, the Bret Hart looks sick. I love the way the attire came out. I think it looks fantastic. A Bret Hart, you know, like, people love the Bret Hart figure, so I'm sure they will be excited about it. But the Bret Hart looks pretty nice, man. I'm digging it. The pink looks very nice. It, it pops off really swell, and I like it. We also have Hulk Hogan, man. This looks a ton like the defining moments that we got way back in the day. It doesn't have double-jointed uh, arms just yet, but the Hulk Rules classic shirt, you got the, like, I don't know, this head sculpt kind of reminds me of, like, Dale Earnhardt or something. It's probably just the handlebar mustache that kind of gives me that. However, uh, you, got the, you got the headband, WWF Championship, Hulk Rules classic going on. Really nice figure. I know, just uh, getting all the Hulk Hogans in here, man, they're going to look really great when they're all up on a shelf. Can't wait to see what people's displays look like with all these different Hulk Hogan's and the different eras that we're getting combined with the ones we've already had in the past from Mattel. Really sweet looking Hulk Hogan. I knew we'd get some on this day. And finishing up our Survivor Series set, guys, is going to be Keith Lee, which is actually the basic ver or the elite version of his basic that we got in the light blue and gold. Kind of like a UCLA style gear with the black, light blue, gold, and white. Looks great, man. His figure is really fun, so I know this one's going to be just as good. I haven't even tracked down the gray and pink just yet. So, I mean, it, it, I, I got a lot of figures to catch up on, but the Keith Lee looks out, outstanding. And his first figure was really fun to pose around, so I know this one is going to follow suit. Good God in heaven at the reveals, man. I can't even catch my breath with all the stuff we've seen today. Like, this video is going to be an hour long, I swear to Jesus. But moving on, guys, we also have some new basics. And getting into those real quick, man, we have an Ember Moon basic. New looking head sculpt, it looks like. She's got some stuff going on on her legs. It looks like a waist wrap, maybe, is what that is. But she's got the black and the, and the red going on pretty nice ember moon we have isaiah swerve scott and he is going to be the chase variant really happy to get an isaiah swerve scott i think he's great so he's got his tattoos you do get the green version and then the red version i think the red version is the chase variant if i'm not mistaken but he's got some nice knee pads on there hopefully converting him to an elite won't be a huge deal even though you got to get all the tattoos and stuff we also have mandy rose and she's going to be the chase in a set as well this is the Chase variant version in the pink with the rose on there. Shorter hair sculpt, so it is an updated Mandy Rose. Maybe that'll be an easy, you know, head sculpt to pop onto her Elite if you guys would like to do that from Elite Series 75. We also have a Keith Lee figure, which is in the black and red in the singlet. I'm not a big singlet guy from a Keith Lee. I like it when he, you know, he rocks out there and just flattens it all out and kills everybody. So, I don't know. We'll have to see how this head sculpt, you know, the head scan pans out. We also have a look at Santos Escobar, so this head sculpt could be put onto his elite figure. A lot of people are talking about the basic articulation of this figure and how it looks like he's going to have basic, art you know, the old basic articulation. I don't think so. I think that's just for the render's sake, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, maybe you could use the purple knee pads or pop this head sculpt onto his new Elite 87 figure. He does have, like, the Days of the Dead slash half paint there on the face, which looks really nice. And then coming up, guys, we have two different figures here, man. You have Joaquin Wild, I think is how you pronounce it. And then you have Raul Mendoza. And you have two different versions. So they're both going to come with their masks. And they, some of them have head, you know, the face paint. Like, I think the, the regular version has the face paint. And then the chase versions don't have the face paint. So you can get, uh, you know, one version of both of them with their face paint on or off. And then they both come with the masks. So 
you know it'll just depend on which versions you get or you know if you want both of them their their t-shirts also change and they have chains around their neck which i think is really sweet and uh, i don't know makes for some pretty good backstage stuff or some bodyguards or things like that the, these figures are really good for things of that nature so uh, that will be really cool to see i'm really interested to see if the necklace is removable on wild Outside of these basics, man, we also have some new championship showdown packs. I think we have like four of them right here, so I'll run through those really quick. We get a new showdown championship pack of Bret Hart and The Undertaker. We'll be very interested to see how these come out in basic form. I really wish the, uh, the Bret Hart had open elbow pads. We haven't seen those in years. The Undertaker looks okay. Again, gonna have to depend on those head sculpts. We also have a Vegeta, Rhea Ripley, and Charlotte from WrestleMania. So this looks nice, even though a lot of the deco is just going to be painted on there. Uh, I really wish that Rhea was an elite figure because I'm, you know, I'm like the biggest Vegeta fan you're going to find out there. So I really would have liked to seen that in an elite, but I understand it. We also have a Drew McIntyre and Goldberg 2-pack. I knew we would get the freaking Goldberg in the shorts in a figure form. I didn't know if it'd be elite, but I knew we would get him in some figure form in those freaking shorts and there he is but you get a basic version kind of that new elite 89 drew and then the last championship showdown two pack we have guys is the street profits in the blue gear so the blue gear smackdown versions of street profits and the uh tattoo is printed over the wrist tape right there on uh, the montez four so that's very interesting and then the last thing and the last bit of news i think i think this is it I think this is it. We finally have all of the stuff out here, guys. On MattelCreations.com, you guys know that they do have the new Ultimate Edition uh, New Generation Arena of Mattel Creations. You know, trying to get 5,000 backers on this thing. Right as of right now, at the time of recording, I think the thing's been up for a little while now. It has almost 600 backers right now that have contributed to the Ultimate Edition New Generation Arena. But if we end up getting 7,000 backers, they're going to throw in a new Ultimate Edition Doink the Clown figure with the purchase of the $250. So it wouldn't just be you're paying $250 for one Ultimate Edition and the ring and the entrance stage. You would also get the Ultimate Edition Doink the Clown figure to go with that that has the interchangeable hands, the interchangeable heads, the cloth accessories and goods. And then if it ends up getting to 8,000 backers, we will get a couple of ring skirts to interchange with our uh, with our play set. So you'll get in your house ring skirts as well as WrestleMania ring skirts to go with your uh, new generation arena to also go with your diesel and your entrance stage and all that stuff. So it has to reach 8,000 backers. I was worried that this thing wouldn't do that well. Like I, I literally am worried that it's not going to reach the 5,000. As of right now, it has 597. I haven't done it just yet. I am going to do it. I just haven't done it just yet. Maybe some people are waiting to see how it's going to do before they put their thing in there. It's 11% funded right now. Again, the target is 5,000. So we'll have to see about that, man. But that is it for all of your reveals, man. Again, I've been sitting here forever. This is going to take me probably an hour to edit this thing. However, man, I had to get it all up to you guys, let you guys know about all the reveals get my reactions and, and just tell you guys all the different stuff. Also, um, I hope that the editing and everything pans out because some of this stuff wasn't revealed to us and then I had to go back and add it in. So hopefully everything worked out. But Jesus, man, what an epic day. Overall, what a great Comic-Con. Like, as far as the reveals go, I don't know if we're getting more tomorrow or what the case is, but they revealed a ton, so I don't, I don't know if we're getting anything tomorrow. But I think it was a pretty successful day of reveals. The RVD was insane. I'm going to make my top 10 most, you know, figures that I'm most excited for or what I think the top 10 figures are. So we'll get into that maybe in the next couple days. I got a review going up tomorrow. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives and the San Diego Comic-Con coverage here today. Let me know what your favorite figures were from the reveals and let me know if you think it was an overall successful day or whatever but that rvd won the weekend man that rvd is just freaking beautiful i cannot wait to see what it looks like in hand and how it all comes together but thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter my damn toys and tiktok and i will see you guys in the next video don't cross the line i don't know if anything crossed the line today did anything cross the line today i don't even i don't even freaking know you cross the line I've been beat